There she is, folks. The Deluxe Reverb. 68 Custom. This is the new one. This is the, well, fairly new. It's been out of a couple years. But, um, yeah, I thought I'd do a demo on it today and a review. Um, I got this amp brand new from Guitar Center. Um, and, yeah, I thought I'd go over a couple of uh, cool features with it. Um, so, I guess we'll go ahead and start off. If you're familiar with the old Fender style amps, it's basically nothing new. There's no, um, no, uh, visually, um, um, different things from a normal old deluxe reverb, right? Anyway, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a 22 watt, um, all tube, uh, made in Mexico, I believe, uh, Fender amp. So, um, but what's cool about this, uh, amp, I will get right into it. On this channel, you have the, uh, the, the custom, and then you have the vintage. So it's not exactly like a deluxe reverb there. It has some different uh, words on it. But uh, basically, um, that one is, um, it has a basement tone circuit or tone stack, um, which includes the reverb and tremolo. So, uh, first impressions of this amp, very clean, very easy to use since I'm uh, used to a, uh, a deluxe reverb. Um, I've uh, played 70s twins, I've played a lot of stuff. So, uh, you know, I, uh, but I really love the sound of the amp, and I, I'm going to give you some um, demos of the, um, the sounds. So today we are using uh, none other than a Fender Stratocaster with a uh, Fender amp. you got to do that. But uh, first off, we're going into the Vintage channel, the regular um, Deluxe Reverb channel. Sorry for the shorts, but I'm not on stage, so it works. So anyway, we're, gonna, um, we're running the volume about at 3. <laughs> some uh, more treble in there. It sounds real good to me guys. Uh, sounds like a vintage Fender. Um, yeah, I, I noticed one thing with this amp. It, it, it really is um, EQ sensitive. I mean, if we roll back on the bass just a little bit, I'm running at uh, three now. That's really, um, but we roll a little bit of bass, just a little bit more. We're talking about a lot more output on bass. So, uh, sounds great to me. Uh, I'm going to roll bass back a little bit. Let's uh, hit the reverb. Um, also, like most um, most uh, vintage Fender amps, they come with the um, foot switch. Great, reliable, strong. So let's slap on that reverb. That normal Fender reverb. It doesn't have as much as some of the uh, other Fender reissues, like the Vibra Vert. But let's uh, let's just go with uh, a lot of reverb here. Real chimey. I mean, you got a whole lot of tones here. Going to a bridge pickup. excuse me, early 60s um, sound. I mean, it's it's really good. Let, let's go to the um, custom channel here. Uh, running at roughly basically the same volume on the custom channel. Let's put the EQs at the very exact same. We'll go six and six. Uh, custom, custom uh, section. That's the difference. Oops. 
if it's played by a good player. I just noticed a little more bass on this side. That's, they're obviously getting the uh, basement um, tone stack, so obviously there's gonna be a little more bass. Let's uh, go back to the um, to the uh, regular deluxe reverb and let's crank it up a little bit. It's gonna be loud. <laughs> tube crunch right there guys um, as normal we're running about six on deluxe reverb and I don't have any earplugs in right now so I'm basically dying all right so let's do that again <laughs> for 22 watts. Uh, I dig it. Let's turn up the uh, custom channel here. Going to about six. That's why I love this amp, man. Other than that, I've been on the road with it a, a while now, and um, I gotta say, I love it. it it's 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 been very good for me, and um, you know, what's, the one reason why I love it is uh, because a they're built well. Um, B if something were to um, happen, knock on wood. Um, I think Lux Reverb is easy replaceable. They're really there's millions of them made. Um, and so if, if, if I was on the road and one crapped out, I could go to the next music store and there would be one there. So um, that's one reason why I like the Deluxe Reverb. And A, it's small. I've never been able to go to a gig. Um, I've never been able to go to a gig with just a guitar, an amp in hand. Granted, it's a little heavy, but uh, not too bad. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I really love this thing, guys. I can't, I can't say enough about them. <laughs> for yourself and make sure to pick one up. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, so Brooks Mason, aka the Lazy Jammer here, uh, signing out. As always, keep it lazy, guys. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my videos. And um, don't forget to watch all my videos. Thank you so much, guys, and have a great day. <laughs>